Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about some properties of the Harris detector. So, let us first talk about rotational invariance. So now I have uh, two images. Uh, so basically, uh, two scenes of the same image. So here, you can see that this image is rotated by a particular angle over here. You can see I have applied the Harris detector uh, on this image and I have plotted the points on it. You can see these are the points and uh, correspondingly i have plotted uh, the points in this rotated image also so you can see more or less the points are on the same location so on the same locations means that suppose if you consider this point over here this point over here you can see that there is a corresponding point over here for the same so uh, if you remember initially we used to do manually uh, initially uh, if you remember in this example in this image registration uh, uh, video uh, that I used to manually select this point over here and then select that point over here the corresponding point so these correspondence are what is needed so you can see that those correspondence is given by the Harris detector you can see that there is this point which can be corresponded to this point there is say this point which can be corresponded to this point so you can see that even if the image is rotated, it is giving me uh, quite nice features which with which I can make correspondences. So the whole aim of feature detector is to have these points and uh, so that is feature detection and in the next step we have to do feature matching. So please remember this, we, were, we are now doing feature detection that is selecting these points and next is going to be feature matching. So, right, so this is a good detector, but there is one problem with this. The problem is, suppose that, uh, so we know that uh, for feature matching, we will have to uh, basically trace a window on each of these features. So, suppose I place this window over here and I take a particular neighborhood of this particular feature. So, say this, this will be the neighborhood of this feature over here this neighborhood of this feature and then uh, I will have to search this particular neighborhood in the next image so here I put this over here ex uh, take this um, do some um, distance measure that is minus or something and uh, select uh, a threshold and have to see if it is same or not but you see that when uh, so you can see that this particular feature corresponds to this feature over here this feature over here so when i put the window over here you can see it will give an image which is like this now in reality both the image are of the same object you can see this uh, window is over here you can be, see these four things over here but the problem is it is now rotated so even if i do a uh, subtraction between the pixel values it will not give a good match because they are actually not the same object it is rotated so this is the problem so we also need a good descriptor oops i'm sorry with the spelling yeah so we also need a good descriptor over here a descriptor means i will need something that describe this particular feature well so that even if it is uh, transformed over here even if it is rotated over here like this i can still have some measure by which i can say both of these are same so that is something that we need we need a good descriptor but uh, with respect to detection it is a good detector you can see that almost all points are detected nicely so now uh, you can see that some points are not detected now you can see if uh, if you consider this region over here you can see correspondingly here those points are not detected only this this point is detected over here this and this so this and this these this this and this points are not detected so that is uh, a thing so uh, you will never get a hundred percent match but uh, what you can get is a good amount of match so this match is calculated by a metric which is known as repeatability rate so what repeatability rate basically tells you is it is uh, it is given by number of corresponding points detected in common region 
so now you can see that this particular region and this particular region is common common means uh, the both actually uh, give information about the same object so here also there is this building and here also there is this building it is the same object so what are the number of corresponding points so corresponding point means there should be a pair so this point corresponds to say uh, this point over here this point corresponds to this point over here a and the story so every point in this plane should have its corresponding pair in this uh, image so that is it but you can see that not all points have their pair you can see that this point over here this point and this point they do not have their pair so on the uh, numerator there is how many points which actually have a pair and in the denominator which are the total number of points that are detected so you will see that r is al always uh, less than 1 less than or equal to 1 but equal to is a very rare case but almost it is always less than 1 and greater than 0 so it is it has the range in between 0 to 1 so now if suppose i have a plot so here there is this plot where uh, there is uh, the rotation in degrees so here you can see like uh, this is like a 45 degree rotated uh, image so here uh, they have plotted the repeatability rate which is what i have mentioned over here this r so they have plotted repeatability rate versus degrees so you can see that um, for the harris so this uh, this down curve is harris so for the harris detector it is quite okay so mostly for every uh, degree at least you get 75% uh, of uh, detection 75% uh, of repeatability rate so 75% actually means that at least 75% of the total number of points are have pairs have corresponding pairs so it is uh, quite rotational in rotational invariance uh, invariant it is very much rotational invariant because uh, after rotating also you can correspond points you have pairs you can say that this actually corresponds to this by using some feature matching technique but at least you have detected the right point also uh, there is this improvised harris so imp harris is improvised harris so what happens in this improvised harris is instead of using the uh, normal edge detector so here uh, sobel edge detector you can use the gaussian uh, derivatives so you use a mask with the derivatives of gaussian having sigma 1 and that gives you a better gives you better results so that is what is improvised harris and you can see for improvised harris the results are much better they are even more than 80 for 85 percent for most of the angles so here this tells you that this is rotational invariant but you need to ensure that it has a rotational invariant descriptor so that is what i have said over here you can see that the pixel values are not uh, giving full information that whether the particular uh, two patches are same or not the pixel information or the pixel values will give you wrong information that they are not same but in reality they are actually the same so you need a good descriptor over here so this slide was uh, taken from this particular uh, uh, pdf or this particular lecture from uh, bill freeman so you can uh, check the link over here if in case you want to see this particular pdf and uh, this particular image is taken from this paper so i will also put the paper in the description below if you want to uh, do further reading now uh, the same thing let us see for affine so now uh, this is the image and i have uh, done a affine transformation over this image so now you can see that even after an affine transform uh, mostly the points are detected so this point is detected over here this point is detected over here so mostly you have corresponding pairs so it is quite invariant to affine also but again that thing will come that you will need a good descriptor so it is more or less partially uh, invariant to affine also there are some methods listed over here by which you can get even better uh, invariance by affine so that also you can look uh, at these particular methods now the main part so here you can see that even if it is 
rotational invariant it is affine invariant but it is not scale invariant why it is not scale invariant is uh, illustrated very nicely over here so suppose that this is my image the image is like this and i have this window so uh, harris always requires a window we have seen that so here you see that all of these windows will give you that it is an edge you can see that it is an edge it is an edge it is an edge so mostly these windows will tell you that it is an edge but if suppose now i scale this image down to say this much so if i'm scaling it to this much now you can see that it has become a corner so this is one of the problem with harris detector that it is not scale invariant you can also see the graph of repeatability versus scale factor and you can see how it drastically reduces the repeat, re, repeatability rate drastically reduces as seen over here so it was almost 0.8 when the scale was almost 1 and as it is it just become uh, 1.5 it has drastically gone down to 0.4 or 0.45 uh, or something and uh, by by 2 it has become 0.2 so you can see how drastically the repeatability rate has reduced so this is the other problem of the harris feature detector that uh, if you keep the windows uh, constant so you can detect edges at different scales and corners at different scales so that was all for this video we'll see how can we uh, overcome these uh, problems by a different detector thank you so much for watching thank you